They are usually the weapon of choice for any self-respecting alien, but lasers could be put to better use on Earth creating an invisibility cloak to hide our planet from the prying eyes of extraterrestrials. Two astronomers have proposed beaming controlled laser emissions into space to help disguise the faint dimming of light our planet creates each time it passes in front of the sun. They said it would render our planet invisible to any alien astronomers that might be using techniques similar to those being used by our own scientists to discover new habitable planets. The method searches for events known as transits, where a plant causes a tiny dip in the light coming from its star as it passes in front of it as it orbits. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope has already discovered 1,000 new planets using this technique. This includes several that are similar in size to the Earth and are in the so-called habitable zone where temperatures are right for liquid water to occur. Professor David Kipping and his student Alex Tichy, from Columbia University in New York, speculate that alien astronomers may well use a similar method to spot planets in the habitable zone around our Sun, namely Earth. They claim it may be possible to mask the dip in light that occurs when our planet passes in front of the sun by sending a continuous 30 MW laser blast for 10 hours each year. Professor Kipping explained, There is an ongoing debate as to whether we should advertise ourselves or hide from advanced civilizations potentially living on planets elsewhere in the galaxy. Our work offers humanity a choice, at least for transit events, and we should think about what we want to do. Several prominent scientists have previously cautioned against humanity from broadcasting our presence to intelligent life on other planets. They are concerned that extraterrestrials might wish to come and take advantage of Earth's resources or even simply bring devastating diseases with them should they come to visit. Professor Kipping and Mr. Tichy, whose proposals are published in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, claim a laser could eliminate the transit signal at least for visible light. The power needed, 30 MW, they argue is equivalent to the energy collected by the International Space Station solar arrays in a year. It is also equivalent to powering 6,500 average American homes for a year. Making the Earth invisible in at all wavelengths of light, however, could prove more challenging as it would require a large array of tunable lasers with a combined output of 250 MW. Mr. Tichy added, alternatively, we could cloak only the atmospheric signatures associated with biological activity, such as oxygen, which is achievable with a peak laser power of just 160 kilowatts per transit. To another civilization, this should make the Earth appear as if life never took hold on our world. Finally the pair said the lasers could also be modified to make change in light from the sun during a transit appear artificial and so broadcast our existence. They say we could also transmit additional information along the laser beams. However, the researchers admit it is also possible that alien civilizations may have also thought of the same approach. They urge the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, which looks for alien radio signals, to also search for artificial transits.